Okay, before we start today's video, I'm going to uh, just go over something really quick. I want to try a new intro sort of thing with my uh, videos from here on out, just as an experiment at least. Uh, as you probably know, I usually say what I miss were one the same, and go on from there. And I want to keep that, but I want to have a little visual with it. So from now on, we're going to have what I miss were one and the same. To wrap the road and back for more, and then just go into whatever series we have. So. What I miss for one and the same, draft Ronin back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Sky Let's Play, episode 57, according to my calendar in front of my, above my computer on the chalk, on the cork board above my work area. Anyways, last time we evolved Claudio, so both Members of Team Amory, Claudio, and Kitsy are now evolved fox, jackal, dog, canine, Pokemon things. Oh, and we also evolved Luna into an Umbreon as anticipated. We also recruited the the an Absol Gintoki named after Sakata Gintoki from Gintama because I like to name my I like to na sometimes name Pokemon on, on my team and or that I catch in either like main state series or otherwise. If I can give a Pokemon a nickname, it'll either be named after an anime character or just a typical nickname I usually give that specific Pokemon. Anyways, alright, let's just get these boxes open. And I guess while the boxes are getting opened up, I will turn up the system volume because I can hardly hear the game there. Um, we are probably going to go take on one of the dungeons for a for one of the like the is it the seven treasures or eight treasures? Re regardless like uh, you, you remember when we went to the mystery jungle and fought Mew and then got a grass coronet? Well today we're going to take on another one or two of those kind of dungeons. Gotta sell some items first. Yeah, we're gonna take them on and fight whoever's at the end of those dungeons. If I can figure out what to sell. Fine. I'll come back to you to check, but we're going to do that once all preparation and actually we'll figure it out as soon as we're done with this stuff. Okay. Store some, Id store some items and then I guess I will meet you all at the probably the crossroads to the to the east of here in front of the guild. So, see you all in a bit. Okay, quick interruption. Just to point out, I already have the Terra Symbol and the Grass Coronet, so we can mark off the list of dungeons to visit uh, the Mystery Jungle and Shimmer Desert. Just a quick note to self. Anyways, see you all in a bit. Oh, my money is a bit weird, but that's probably because I did a certain special episode who's next, who you'll see the the ending of come next week, exactly one week from now, so... Uh, but I'm not going to spoil anything about what happens other than the fact that you do keep money and items that you collect in that those certain special episodes also come are carried over into the main game. There, now I have an even 10,000 and I can get back to my proper work. Okay, uh, who else? Green Gummy. Kenshin. Good. 
What else? Ooh, I should probably recycle that. I'm going to go recycle that. Recycle! What's the offer, my dear Smurf? Ooh, a life seed. I will take that, thank you. Unfortunately, I have a feeling... Okay. Let's just get the prism ticket. How many actual real orange berries we have in our part bag? Okay, two. I'll do the lookalike, the... This quick last hunger totter. Uh, this poison jab. Sleep talk. Water pulse. Blowback orb and uh. Switch your orb. Yes. Yes. Redeem for blue and. Is it a win? It. Oh, well, it's a win. Or did I win? A TM for white slash. Okay, I'm. I guess I should mention I'm back. Uh. Yeah, we're all set. I. I'm making Kitsy the leader, bringing along Waffle, Kenshin, and Goemon. Because they, especially Kenshin, has not seen much action today. Uh, I guess Waffle doesn't have an item, but... Uh, oh, I should... I, before I forget, I should probably use that Life Seed before I forget. The Life Seed will basically add plus 3 HP or... So to uh, Pokemon's maximum health. So who needs the most? HP is 136, 145, 140, and 124. Goemon. Yep, now she's at 127. Right? Right? Yeah, 127. Anyways, I decided to go with these, this lovable group of team members. For the next place on our, my radar, the World Abyss. Let's go. Okay. All right. Um, I should probably just make everyone go together for now. The World Abyss. It is a... I've, I don't remember what kind of dungeon this is. I really ought to have probably did some research before I just waltzed right on in here. But it should have ghost types and... Even though I don't think we've even seen a single ghost type yet. I think like also like psychic types and... I really... I really don't know. Oh, well, there's a dark type. It's an Umbreon. Uh, but, and I, I don't actually remember how lo long the dungeon is, so tell you what, come the next floor, after this electrode, I'm going to imprison it, and then we're going to hit the stairs after picking up this here heal seed. And I will see you all in a bit in the post narration of this dungeon. All right, after doing a little bit of research on Bulbapedia, I was in fact completely wrong. World Abyss is a normal and flying type dungeon. <sighs> well, not the end of the world, but you know, there are plenty of annoying Pokemon here. In fact, to be Precise, there are most of the Pokemon you will encounter here in the World Abyss dungeon are also more or less identical to a T for 
what which Pokemon appear in another certain dungeon I actually said earlier in the series I refuse to go into. That dungeon being the Concealed Ruins, which we unlocked after the Aegis uh, Reggie uh, chamber stuff, but there's a lot of annoying Pokemon here nonetheless, as well as right there as well, in there as well, like Weezing that can go kaboom, and I mean kaboom. But worst of all, the Nidoqueen Queen with Earth Power. It hits everyone. It can lower your special defense, and unless you have the ability of Levitate, you're going to get hurt. Fortunately, I I guess as well as with there being traps and all, uh, I guess Kenshin did well because there's plenty of poison traps and enough poison types as well. But the World Abyss is a really Really rough dungeon. We froze the Embryon, but thawed it out with a Fire Blast. Good. We picked up a Doom Seed, which lowers the whoever eats its level by one. Throw it at the Weezing, make it level 42, and uh, flamethrower it. Okay, watching carefully, might as well flamethrower you again. Don't know why there's a little thing that goes nowhere up there. Cleanse Orb, that should be helpful. Alright, Imprison. Make sure you can't move. And then... Uh, I, I fed the Orin Berry to the wrong Pokemon. Uh, Kitsy, eat the Orin Berry. Good. And Embryon's un Imprison. Uh, Jeez, how it must have like uh, some kind of IQ skill for a quick recovery thing. And uh, it's confused, right? Oh my god. Well, I have heal seeds, and that's that. But the Pokemon in this dungeon actually do, for the most part, carry assortment of uh, IQ skills. Oh, and of course the Nido Queen, with its range of attack of, you know, earth power, it can attack you if you don't even know that one is over there in, like, the distance. You just have to be, like, more or less in the vicinity room area for it to even affect you. Uh, I should probably eat the heal seed first, and then the orin berry. Okay. Flamethrower. Yeah, one shot. And the food item went bad. It's fine. We, we, we still have three apples. We should make it. Flamethrower, the Voltorb. It's a monster house. There, there's only two items. Why is there a monster house? Nonetheless, I still have another Petrify Orb. Probably proceed with caution though, because there could be traps around. One shot orb does what the name implies it okos the opponent in an attack that actually is not very reliable in terms of being able to land. But I just go for imprison on the wheezing. I'm not about to have it go boom and unpetrify everyone around it. The Nino Queen picked up a Doom Seed and threw it at me. Great, White Slash. At least I will. At least Kitsy will level up upon defeating a Pokemon. Because with a Doom Seed, even if it drops your level by one, you'll still be one EXP point away from lev leveling up again. So you know what? Right back at this one, level 43. Oh dear. No, no double kick. Well, at least I have my flamethrowers back. It doesn't seem to... The burn doesn't even... The burn is probably one of the worst status conditions in Mr. Dungeon in terms of it just not functioning properly. It doesn't drop attack, nor does it do enough damage over time. You can still recover health over time, and it, it's just not reliable. 
But did you see that? That the Neo Queen more or less made us use up a good number of reviver seeds all at once, and there's not much I can do. And they can't go to sleep with the IQ skill like I mentioned earlier. Oh my god, and we we only have the look-alike orange berry. The Oren berry. How wonderful. Just wonderful. Okay, let's get out of here. We need to get going. Actually, before I do, let's go together. Because, and yet, even though I just did that, for whatever reason, Goemon decided to go off on her own. And I think I have a roll call orb I picked up earlier. Oh, jeez. Why are the, why is everything hitting so bad, hard? And why is, are there so many poison traps? At least Kenshin can't get poisoned with his ability, but still. <sighs> okay, let's do the roll call orb. Get everyone back together. And get rid of this electrode that's coming our way. Thanks to the x-ray specs. On the 16th floor, we get a tile set change. As well as some of the Pokemon that were there before get upgraded, like... The Loudred become x and then some, and Goemon's wandering off again. Okay, leave Waffle alone. Good. Alright, let's get Magnet Rise. Flamethrower. Fan attack. Come on, let's get through this. Oh no. A uh, rock. A uh, wide slash. Why am I not surprised? Earth power. Earth power kill everything. And I used the wrong move. It literally two codes anything and everything. And I'm out of reviver seeds. Seven of them. Seven reviver seeds. I think it's fair to say six of them just went gone went just from the one move alone. Earth power. Fortunately, I do have an escape orb. And as you will see, I came across one more Neo Queen, and I said, nope, nope, I'm, I'm out of here. We'll finish the World Abyss in another episode. We'll come back to this point, but floor 19. Don't let me forget, but until then, no, we're done here. Oh my god, why? We had, we had like six or seven Reviver Seeds. And Nido Queen, fucking Nido Queen, Earth Powered. God, why'd I, why'd I think it was a ghost or psychic type dungeon? And why was there even a Nido Queen in there? Why were there Nido Queens in there? And why did they have to have Earth Power? Ah, Earth Power, it, I really, it's an awful move to come up against. Well, let's see what we have in these glittery boxes. Thank goodness for escape orbs. Gabite Claw. And what we get? Skitty Fang. Alright. My dear Kekodon, what do you have for selling today? I will take your Reviver Seed. I will take this Grey Gummy. And an apple while I'm at it, too. And I shall sell you this uh, Petra Scarf Pasty Band, Grimy Food, and White Slash, Skitty Fang. I don't care if I can recycle these, though I'll probably recycle some of them. I just want to get myself <sighs> get some damage control or set and everything so let's just okay so we had five six and seven fiber seeds and now we only have technically one that we just bought crying out Yeah, no, I could sell those silver spikes. 
because I don't typically use them. I used to use them a lot as a kid, actually, but they've kind of fell out of my realm of liking to use, if that makes any sense. Don't know why. They're more effective than the Iron Thorns and, and all, but they're just not for me. Uh, let's see how our Prom Night Dumpster Baby's doing. Check the egg. Is it... is it... will it... will it... no. Okay. Well, what else could I do? Actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. You remember when we... went into here and talked to Marowak and all? And I'm not even sure if we even made it to the end of this final maze dungeon or not. But I do want to give it a shot just because it's worth a shot just for the fact that we don't have to we don't need to bring items in, I think. I wanna verify. Let me just see what it says with going in. I hope it doesn't Caution, all items, okay, so no, no, no. All right, we'll come back to here in just a sec. I'm just gonna go store all my items and I don't think it'll take away any money that I lose, so I might as well. But uh, there's an interesting thing about that uh, final maze dungeon that we're about to take on is, despite it being a Marowak dojo, of uh, course, technically, there are Pokemon in there that you can recruit. In fact, all the Pokemon in there are all Pokemon that appear in the other courses, such as uh, Doduo and uh, Omanyte and just a hodgepodge of Pokemon, really. So, but I'm going to probably just uh, just for convenience sake I'm just going to deposit waffle and going on and actually I may just bring uh, where's Luna just wait let's bring new and Luna And I, I might as well just have Kenshin stand by, but I think we'll just go in with these three. I'd, this way Luna can at least get some more EXP, and we'll just go into the final maze. There is a Pokemon I do want to recruit that I have in mind. That Pokemon being Shroomish. I don't know if I've talked about this before in this series, but... I remember last uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series we did Explorer, not Explorers, a uh, Red Rescue Team. Uh, when we were going up Mount Faraway, we came across uh, a certain mushroom Pokemon. And what that Pokemon is? Well, it's, well, Parasect, but it had the move Spore, which. I made myself very clear that that is a very, as a very rough move to come across. Believe me. And because it'll put, when used uh, in this game, it'll put all enemies in the room asleep. So it means if you're on the enemy side, like if it's an enemy in the dungeon, you're likely going to probably get put to sleep. Now, it did have a slight nerf in its accuracy, not being quite 100%. But, uh, it's just something I would bring up. Now, with Shroomish, Shroomish learns it at the about the level that you would find them in this dungeon, I would say. Yeah, they in Gen 4, it's like level 50-some. I don't remember, it may even just be like level 50. 
And the Shroomish in this particular dungeon actually carry the move Spore. And you know, it is very handy because Shroomish are fairly easy to recruit too. Now, not every Shroomish you'll encounter has a Spore, but it might just because they're a level or two below the level that they would learn it. Flamethrower the Doe Duo. I do also want to try to get a male Shroomish, because I do want to go with the usual uh, male Shroomish name I usually give, rather than the female nickname that I have been... Well, I've used a different nickname in the past, but I've, I found a more fitting nickname, but unfortunately, that fitting name is 10 characters long. Well, I, I guess if it was, like, already new Spore, I could have just evolved it right away, and we went encounter a certain glitch. Uh, the certain glitch involving Luminous Spring, where in the U.S. copies of Pokemon Mr. Dungeon Explores the Sky, uh, Pokemon that uh, evolve there, go to evolve there that have a nickname that's 10 characters in length. Uh, upon evolving, they, the game will freeze. Now, there are technically ways around this. And it's if the Pokemon that you are going to, that you are evolving, uh, that has 10 characters in its name, if it was like the most recently recruited Pokemon, then you're you're fine. It's not really a problem at all. But trust me, when when you have like Pokemon, I like for me example in my physical copy of uh, the game that I play occasionally play it in my own time, I've come across I've come across uh, the glitch. A couple times and it, and it was actually in more recent years I discovered it okay so long story short I recruited a Beldum and I named it after uh, a Beldum that I had actually shiny chained in Pokemon Sun uh, nicknamed Hertzatron which is like 10 or 11 characters in length well I go to evolve Hertzatron the first time and you know he evolves into a Metang but that was because he was the most recently recruited, and uh, when I went to evolve him again later into a Metagross, lo and behold, he had the game freezes upon trying to evolve him. So I had to do what? R more or less let him go at the Chimeco roster, and. Uh, get a new Beldum recruited and just name it what I usually named my Metagross before then, Tomaton. i just look around. Hallelujah. Uh, well... We're here. Might as well just name it anyways. This will be actually a fairly fitting nickname. I kind of decided to go with. Oh. Toxoraptor. After the emerald Toxoraptor from Dark Spore. It was... And it's fitting because it actually, you know, was a spore thing. Actually, let's take a look. Toxoraptor is level 45 with moves. Oh good, you already know spore, so it's 45. We're good then. Let's just get out of here with our escape orb before we get our ship pushed in. Quit while we're ahead and we'll probably call it an episode. As soon as I'm done evolving our shroomish before we so we now so we don't succumb to the aforementioned glitch 
We are going straight to the Luminous Spring. Luminous Spring. A voice emanates from somewhere. You seek awakening. This is Luminous Spring. You seek evolution. Evolve our lovely Toxaraptor into Breloom. I'm going to change. Appearance change. Change into a balloon. Disbanded. There's no purpose for you. Be gone, thought. And I shall be gone right now. Thank you so much for watching and putting up with all the frustrations today. At least we ended up on a good note. And I hope you have a good day and end it on a good note as well. Other than that, thanks for watching. Take care. Stay woke. Bye now.